Hey there. Yep, it's that time of year again for open enrollment. This year it's running from May 1st to May 22nd. And to help with some questions, we've created this presentation for you. First, we'll go over the agenda, and that's going to be the introduction of HR personnel, along with the overview of all of our options. We'll go over the wellness program, your insurance options, and then your next steps, how to register and elect your benefits. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the HR department, and we'll be glad to help you. And speaking of the HR department, let me introduce us. This is me, Chris Caldwell. I'm the HR admin specialist. I handle the new hire paperwork, tuition reimbursement, gym reimbursements, the random drug screens, and just general HR inquiries. Next is Emily Smith. She is your payroll and benefits guru. She handles employee changes, benefits administration, and soon will be assisting with your FMLA. Violet Carter is our HR generalist. She's responsible for recruitment, the wellness program, the volunteer and intern programs, and also she will be working with FMLA in the near future. Tiffany Shelley is our HR director. She's responsible for employee relations, FMLA, professional development, retirement, as well as a list of other duties. So, now that you met us, let's talk open enrollment. Every employee will need to sign into Employee Self-Service or ESS to keep your elections, to change your elections, or decline. If you're having trouble signing in or forgetting your password, please contact us and we'll be glad to reset it for you. This is also a good time for you to update your personal information, such as your phone number, your email address, your home, your home address, and your beneficiaries if needed. Also, be sure to have your dependents listed because this will be beneficial when you're adding them to your coverage. Now on to the presentation. This is just a brief overview of our insurance options, our wellness program, and a couple of other miscellaneous programs. As for the insurance changes, well, they are just a couple. Medical rates stay the same, but the one change is employees will be issued a new card along with anyone that is 18 and older on their plan. They too will be getting their own card. Dental, this is one change. We have a slight increase of 3.5% for all employees. Your life insurance rates stay the same. Our medical flex spending account, the max has been increased to $27.50, which if you do the full amount equates to $105.76 bi-weekly. And now I'll talk to you a little bit about your health insurance options. Just a reminder, all of your plan changes for open enrollment become effective July 1st, 2020. In terms of health insurance, you still have two options. They are the HRA, Health Reimbursement Account, and the PPO, Preferred Provider Organization. Both plans are blue options plans through Blue Cross Blue Shield, North Carolina. In addition, we'll continue to offer the Blue Cross Blue Rewards Program this program, as a reminder, gives you uh, incentives or gift cards for completing certain activities. Activities that are rewardable for all members include onboarding education, which consists of registering on the Blue Cross um, Blue Connect NC site, confirming your contact details, and completing the Blue Connect checklist. For each of those activities, you can earn $10. There are also some uh, targeted outreach activities that members and uh, employees that are members can access. Um, those members who are eligible will be identified blue, by Blue Cross and contacted. Okay. Those activities include engaging in case management, condition care, or completing care options education. And each of those activities comes with a varying uh, incentive amount, as indicated on the screen. Lastly, all members are eligible to uh, engage in lifestyle coaching with a health coach, and you can earn $100 for doing that. In terms of activities that are just rewardable for employees, they include well-being assessment, where you can earn $25, and the biometric screenings, which will be coming up later on this summer. As a reminder, preventive care services are covered at 100% at your in-network provider's office. Preventive Care services include routine checkups, well baby and well child visits, counseling and support, several screening tests, and immunizations like the flu shot. I'll next review the PPO plan. This plan is a traditional copay plan 
as I mentioned previously, preventive care is covered at 100%. There is an out-of-pocket maximum for an individual of 2,500 and a 5,000 out-of-pocket max for a family. The employee deductible for this plan is $500 and the family is $1,000. Co-pays for this plan range between $20 and $150 depending on where you go, whether it's your doctor's office, a specialist, or emergency care. Once you've met your deductible, the plan moves into a traditional 80-20 uh, coverage setup where the insurance carrier covers 80% of the cost and you cover the remaining 20 until you reach your out-of-pocket maximum. Out-of-pocket maximums do include uh, prescription drug costs as well. Next we have the HRA. Just like the PPO, preventive care is covered at 100% for in-network care. Um, the HRA component um, is set up by the town and we match the, or pay for, excuse me, the first half of each type of HRA. So for the individual, the HRA is $1,500, the town pays $750, the employee pays the last $750. For the family plan, the deductible is $3,000, the town pays the first $1,500, and the family pays the last $1,500. There are no co-pays for doctor's visits and things of that nature under this plan. Once you've satisfied your deductible, you move into, just like the PPO, the traditional coverage of 80-20. This plan has an out-of-pocket maximum of 34-25 for individuals and 68-50 for a family. However, keep in mind that a part of that out-of-pocket maximum includes the HRA portion that is paid by the town, so the true out-of-pocket max to the employee for the individual is twenty six seventy five, and for a family it's fifty three fifty. Prescription drug coverage will remain the same this year. There are four tiers, as there were in the past. Uh, the third and fourth tier continue to be the same amount um, on each plan. Just as a reminder, uh, tier one is your generic, so that's a ten dollar copay. Preferred uh, is. It's tier 2, $30, and specialty drugs are tiers uh, 3 and 4. And under the HRA, that's a $60 copay, and PPO, that's a $45 copay. Just to remind you that it's really important to uh, shop around and to ask your doctor when, avail when possible to uh, fill your prescriptions using generic coverage uh, and generic prescriptions so that it saves you money and you get to pay that tier 1 as opposed to a tier 2 or 3. Um, the importance of shopping around is that not all pharmacies charge the same amount uh, for the same drug, so you want to make sure that you're getting the best deal possible and potentially saving yourself some money. Another way to shop around and make sure that you're saving money on services needed is to visit the Blue Cross Blue Shield website by visiting www.blueconnectnc.com and creating your account if you've not done so, or logging in. You can compare services uh, and get an estimate for uh, items that you might need. This image is an example of one such item where costs can vary greatly. Now, this is an example of an MRI. As you can see here, the estimated costs range anywhere from $583 to $2,100. So that's a big difference uh, for an individual. So being smart and shopping around can save you a significant amount of money. Just a reminder that you want to make sure that you're going to the um, treatment facility that's most appropriate for your level of care. Uh, and avoiding the emergency room unless it's a true emergency. You'll avoid that $150 copay if you have one um, by potentially going to urgent care. Uh, offices, which are pretty uh, populous uh, in this area, um, or waiting to see a primary care physician if possible. Another way to help you make that decision about where to go um, and the advice you need in a medical uh, situation is to utilize the Healthline Blue. Healthline Blue is available 24-7, it's confidential, and there are experienced nurses that can help you uh, and provide you with medical advice for you or your family members. Another convenient feature of our plan is access to MD Live. You'll have 24-7 access to care online, um, either through a mobile app or on the computer. 
They have convenient care for non-emergencies. They can write prescriptions for simple things such as sinus infections or other minus, minor uh, items. And a good um, thing that happened this year is that the copay under the PPO has been reduced to $10 and the service is now free under the HRA plan. An additional added benefit to this service is that behavioral health is now covered effective July 1st under MD Live as well. So it's a convenient uh, option and an efficient option uh, as opposed to having to make an appointment um, and see your primary care or potentially visiting an emergency room. We will be using Aetna for our dental plan again this year. Please keep in mind that your dental plan runs on a calendar year instead of a fiscal year. The annual benefit maximum is $1,250. Deductibles for individual are $50 and for family $100. Preventive, preventive services such as teeth cleanings are covered 100%. If the town uses Aetna the following year and you use one preventive care service this year, then Aetna has agreed to increase your annual benefit maximum by $250 next year. Basic services are covered at 80% and major services at 50%. With Aetna, you will not receive an insurance card in the mail. However, you can log into your Aetna account and view claims or your personal information. We'll once again have VSP as our vision carrier. As a reminder, last year, Due to the HCA uh, changes, Blue Cross Blue Shield never, no longer covers the exam for your eye, uh, eye care and you'll be subject to the $10 copay. Exams are allowed under the plan um, once every 12 months. Glasses are allowed uh, once every 24 months with a $20 copay. Uh, and lenses, again, are every 24 months. Contact lenses and frames uh, are subject to uh, and $130 allowance every 24 months. And anything that you purchase over that $130 allowance with regard to frames um, is discounted. And another reminder on this uh, plan is that you, like dental, won't receive a card for it. Um, and we are working with VSP to make the process of getting dependents um, into the system easier. Uh, to hopefully make it a more efficient and smoother process for you and your family to access this care. Flexible Spending Account Medical, also known as FSA, is another great option when it comes to medical expenses up front. If this is something you are interested in, then you would select the amount you want with 2750 being the max. This benefit is based on a fiscal year and a tax-free payroll deduction. You incur expenses throughout the year and will receive a debit card to pay for these expenses or you are able to submit claims online for reimbursement. Again, it is tax-free dollars used or reimbursed. If you have money left over at the end of the fiscal year, then $500 can roll into the next year. FSA Dependent Care. This benefit has an annual max of $5,000 or $2,500 if married and filing separately per calendar year. The benefit is great for the child care if the child is under 13 years old or for adult dependent care. It covers care that is provided in or out of your home, nursery schools and preschools, excluding kindergarten. Our life insurance provider is Voya and the town provides you with term life insurance equal to one times your salary rounded up to the next 1000 Employees may purchase supplemental life insurance and increase coverage up to two increments of $10,000 each for a total of $20,000 for employee or spousal coverage. If there is no current spousal coverage, an evidence of insurability form must be completed and submitted to Human Resources. You can request this form from the Human Resources Department. During open enrollment, now is a good time to review another great town benefit, the 401k Prudential Supplemental Retirement Plan. Here are some key things to remember. Whether you contribute or not to the town, the town contributes 5% and you are 100% vested started with, starting with the... So if you're not currently contributing or would like to increase your contribution, you can log on to the 401k potential website at mynorthcarolinaretirement.com or contact us to receive the 401k contribution change form. 
The town takes a holistic approach to helping employees maintain a healthy lifestyle. The town's wellness mission focus is to promote a healthier, happier employees, to encourage employees and their families to understand their needs and make healthier lifestyle changes, to improve productivity and customer service with a healthier population, and to help keep medical costs more affordable for all. As a part of the town's wellness mission, employees receive a $240 annual wellness incentive by completing the following requirements and signing and submitting a wellness form to Human Resources by December 31st, 2020. The first step is to participate in a town sponsor's biometric screening and attend any wellness session or wellness activity sponsored by the town. The third step is to participate in at least one of the following wellness activities. Participate in a GO365 activity or move up to go to platinum status in a GO365 in GO365 between January 1st, 2020 and December 31st, 2020. Or review biometric screening results with an employee health professional or health check one-on-one -on -one review with an employee health professional. Get a flu vaccine or get a physical or other age, gender, age and gender appropriate preventive wellness exam. The town also has a great incentive that will help you stay motivated on your health and wellness journey. You can receive reimbursement of $20 per month by visiting the gym four times per month. Your gym can supply a printout of your gym visits and you can submit this documentation to Chris Caldwell in the HR department. You can submit your gym visit documentation monthly or quarterly or submit all documentation by June 15, 2021 to receive reimbursement. There are times when we all need assistance with the challenges of life. The town's employment assistance program provided by Aetna is available to you and all the members of your household, including dependent children up to the age of 26. This service is provided 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Aetna provides confidential support and counseling with relationship difficulties, emotional, psychological concerns, depression, work or family stress and anxiety, alcohol and drug abuse, legal or financial topics, personal and life improvement, child care, elder care issues, and also grief. For further information on EAP services and features, please refer to your benefits guide. Remember that you can log into Aetna, VST, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and the RFSA at any time by creating an account on their website. This will allow you to view your benefits, claims, search for providers, and is very helpful with many other questions you may have specific to you and your family. Feel free to reach out to us in HR if you need any help creating your account. Remember, open enrollment is open from May 1st to May 22nd. And please remember, as Christine said earlier, to make sure that your dependents are entered in under your personal information. This will make for a smoother process in enrollment. Also remember that if you don't want the benefit, you'll need to click Decline, decline Benefit. If you want to keep what you currently have, you just click No Changes. And if you want to change what you currently have, you click Make New Election. Remember that your FSA election must be redone each year. Again, if you need your password for employee self-service reset, please reach out to anyone in HR. For the drop-in dates, we have six of them scheduled throughout the open enrollment period. May 5th at Public Ops from 7 to 8 a.m. in Ready Room A. May 6th from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. in Ready Room A. The next week we have May 12th, 7 to 8 a.m. Public Ops, Ready Room B. We have an afternoon session on May 13th from 4.30 to 6.30 at the PD in their training room. May 19th, Park Services Building, 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. And the last one will be here at Town Hall, May 21st from 10 to 12. So, we also have two live webinars that you can link in to view. The first one is May 7th at 10 a.m. And the second one is May 13th at 3.30. Please, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact HR. And we'll be glad to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you for joining us for this webinar, and we hope you have a great day.